Hello guys, Mark Newton from the School of Photography here and today we are going to talk about planning for a landscape shot and how important that is. You can go out with your camera and try and take landscape shots and you'll get some decent shots and sometimes you'll get some fantastic shots but believe me now if you put a little bit of planning into your shot before you go out and take the picture you're going to get stunning shots. So the first thing when it comes to planning clearly is to have an idea. Now I think that it is around about equal when it comes to creativity, your knowledge of photography and the planning of what you are going to do. Them three things I think have got equal value when it comes to creating great shots, right? So the first thing is the idea. Now I've got a great idea. I wanna just show you where I am and what we're gonna do. I'm just trying to get a decent exposure on it. There we go. So over here we've got the cliffs of Los Gigantes in Tenerife. And this is what we're gonna go and photograph. Let's go back inside. So that's what I wanna photograph, them cliffs. They are magnificent when you go down to see them, right? Now, there is a certain point of the day when they really look fantastic. And it's not the golden hour, it's about an hour before the golden hour, if you like. And that's where the light hits it and really gives it some contrast and shows off all of the sort of jagged parts of the cliff as you would expect. Now, I've already been down there. I've already checked out the scene. I've already figured out the composition I want and I kind of want to go for a portrait look, ultra wide angle lens looking right up on the cliffs the sea coming up to the foreground of the shot and there is rocks also in the foreground. So the idea is I'm gonna get these rocks in the foreground and the cliffs in the background just towering into the shot. I've also thought that maybe it could be in black and white because obviously the texture of the cliffs probably would suit black and white. Won't know until we get into editing, but that's another idea that I've got. So I've got the composition in mind. I've got the time of day in mind. I've got where I want to be in mind. So I've already planned all of these things out and I've been down there, checked out the scene. Yeah, there's people down there, but I think there's a place where I can go where hopefully not that many people will be there. So I've already done that planning before I get to the place. So the next bit of planning that you need is what equipment that you need to get that shot. That also obviously crosses over with your knowledge. So planning, knowledge, creativity, them three things, like I say, mixed together are gonna get you a good shot. So to get that shot, I'm gonna obviously need a camera, but with an ultra wide angle lens on it. So I'm gonna use my Canon here, and it's a full frame camera, and the lens I'm gonna use is a 16 to 35 mil lens and I'm probably, I won't know until I get there, but it's probably gonna be at its widest angle, maybe around 16 mil. We'll figure that out when we get down there. Next thing is a tripod. Clearly I'm gonna need a tripod because, you know, we're doing a landscape shot. I'm gonna go for a long exposure landscape shot. And that brings me to the next piece of equipment that we're gonna need and that is a six stop or a 10 stop ND filter and of course the filter holder to put it onto my lens, okay? So that's what we're gonna go for, a long exposure landscape shot where we make the water look like glass. I might also do a few more while I'm down there so that I've got options, but that's the initial idea. A long exposure landscape shot, the water looking like glass, flowing over the rocks that are in the foreground, and these towering cliffs off into the background with the lovely texture of the sunlight hitting it. Now what we've got to do is get down there and set up for the shot. So let's get down there. Okay, 
So I am in position. There is a few people around and they're probably looking at me thinking I am really weird, but I don't care. I am now just waiting for the light because it's not quite right yet. It's still a bit bright and I think we've got about half an hour to an hour maybe before that light gets correct or to how I want it to be. But I know exactly uh, where I want to be. I'm going to get set up. I'm going to do an exposure reading and get ready for my shot. Okay, so I'm all set up now, ready to take the shot. Now I've set the camera to ISO 100 because I want to reduce the noise as much as possible. So I put it on ISO 100. I've got the aperture at F16 and that's giving me a shutter speed of 1 30th of a second. Now I want to use a 10 stop ND filter in that and that gives you, once you put a 10 stop ND filter on your camera, gives you a shutter speed of around about a minute. That is what I want really. I want a shutter speed of about a minute to take this shot. Now, if you want to know a bit more about ND filters and shutter speed times and which ones to buy and all that kind of stuff, you've got a free guide and it's in the description of this video. You can click on that download it it's totally free it tells you all about ND filters your, your timings your exposure how to change the exposure times and all of that kind of stuff right let me show you the setup that I've got over here so there is my camera here and let's just put it on for you so you can see the screen so here I am I'm on manual f16 it's 1 30th of a second there all right you've got to read it on the side but you get the point um, so that's all the settings there around the front is my filter holder I just want to make sure I can focus in for you there and I'm going to slot a 10 stop ND filter in there in a minute and then let's have a look at the scene from behind the camera I'm not sure I'm going to have to be able to expose for both but there is the camera and then I'm going to change the aperture of my filming camera so that you can see the background there like that and as you can see there is the water coming over the rocks so now quite simply it's a matter of taking the picture right I reckon I've got about 20 minutes before that light gets to where I want it to be. Um, and I'm going to take the picture, then I'm going to show you the picture, right? But before I do, I want to take this opportunity to tell you about the courses that we run over at the schoolofphotography.com. If you want to learn photography properly in a structured way by professional teachers, come and see us. We will help you out, I promise you. We've got long exposure photography courses, studio lighting courses, um, Lightroom courses, Photoshop courses, and all them things. And we've been teaching since 2002, and I promise you, we will help you out. Okay, let's get this shot taken so that you can see the results. Hey guys, that's it, I took the shot. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it black and white or color yet, I'll figure that out when I'll go back into editing, but you will see it in a minute anyway, right? I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel for more. Come over to the schoolofphotography.com if you wanna learn about long exposure photography properly. We've got a full course over there for you. and. Yeah, I just really hope you enjoy this picture. I'll see you in the next video.